directly come dancing star Giovanni Bernice has been at the center of major controversy after a series of allegations were made against him over his training techniques and behavior in rehearsals. And while the professional dancer, 33, has remained adamant that the allegations were untrue, three people came forward to make the same complaint. Sherlock actress Amanda Abington was the first person to speak out about his abusive behavior, which was then followed up by Laura Whitmore and two other unknown stars. And now the BBC has confirmed that Giovanni has not been listed to appear on this year's show amid the shocking claims and investigation. This comes after a leaked memo surfaced back in May that showed he didn't feature on the roster of professional dancers. So what's next for the star? The dancer has set up two businesses, a candle business and his own fragrance. Last year, he released his own fragrance for men and women called Vita, which he has been promoting throughout the past six months. The fragrances retails at £63.75 and pence for 100 milliliters. And the tagline for the heavily marketed scent is that it's the new intoxicating scent from Giovanni Bernice which captures the sensuality, vitality and energy of Sicily. The TV personality, who has gone from being one of the most sought-after dancers to that of someone who is now the target of serious allegations. The pro dancer has also released a new 45 pounds candle which is said to bring the unique fragrance experience of Vita to your home. This is the second item from his company GP Vita, which he first filed in June 2023. According to Companies House, his business is described as the retail sale of cosmetic and toilet articles in specialized stores. He is listed as a director along with Nicholas Hill and Thomas Votescard. But this is not the only venture Giovanni has secured for himself. And in April this year, he filed Rocky Productions Limited at Companies House alongside Paul Irving, who produced his recent tour, Let Me Entertain You as well as several other Strictly Stars tours. This business is described as an operation of the arts facilities, which hints that Hess attempting to start his own dance school. Giovanni is also kicking off his own tour next year following the success of his Let Me Entertain You tour. Called The Last Dance, tickets are selling on his website between £50 to £136 per person. The TV personality is set to kickstart the tour in Hayes and will travel through York, Darlington, Blackpool, Southend, Cardiff and then straight through to the London Palladium. On the back of news that Giovanni has been axed from the BBC show, Amanda has deleted all her social media accounts. This includes Instagram and X formerly Twitter as it was confirmed he will not be part of this year's show. Follow Mirror Celebs on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.